Hi all, and welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play Old World Revived. Yeah, last time we left off by making this uh, weird looking thing, this sanity meter here. But yeah, um, I still haven't figured out what the fuck to do with it. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's good or bad that the meter is low like that, if it's low sanity meaning I'm not insane or low sanity meaning I am completely bonkers. But yeah, we're gonna have to uh, figure out what the heck to do with that. But yeah, um, as I promised, we were going to uh, continue on the path of uh, least, least resistance. <laughs> no, um, the Eldritch. Whoa, damn, the Eldritch knowledge. I of course gotten myself the Void Metal and the Void Focus Primal. Uh, as soon as we make uh, the Void Metal, we will get. Um, uh, able to make this one up here, but you can see here the Void uh, Focus Primal Forbidden Knowledge Minor. I mean, we can probably do this. Oh, go on. But this one. We can see here, uh, we can uh, like make a gauge here. Uh, for example, if we look at it, I don't know, I don't know where, uh, how, to, how to put it, but we can see there that. Um, it has a dark, um, a dark purple, I would say, and then a lighter purple up on the gold band right there. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, and we can probably say that if we make the dark or the uh, focus, as it's in here in the table, and we uh, and it goes down, then we know, oh shit, we need to get it up uh, so we don't uh, lose our minds completely. Or if it goes up after we've made it, then we know, oh, we need to keep it down. So, yeah, that depends. It can either go down, then it's then we are completely bonkers, or it can go up and we are, well, relatively safe. That all depends. Okay, research note. Focused, one focused primal. We need to combine all of these, we actually need to combine all six aspects, apparently. With the, with the magic aspect, but that's the magic aspect is going to be the easiest one because bam, there we go. Yeah, it's right next to the uh, <laughs> uh, the perditio, the perditio, or whatever, uh, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now comes the fun part. We need to combine perditio with auto. So we can just do this and this, and do we get anything? We get that one. Cool. So now that we know that, bam, bam, and we can just do, we can just take a, nah, that's a, let's do this one, bam, now those two are connected. Okay, auto and earth, do we get anything from combining those two? We do, we get that one, perfect, now that's connected. Earth and fire. We do not get anything from combining earth and fire. But I do know that Lux or Light has fire aspects. And what has earth? We have earth. I do know there's an earth and air. Nope. Uh, I think it's earth and water, right? Let's see. Earth. Water gives us the heart thingy. Yeah, that's right. And it has, uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Well, how the heck are we gonna twitch this one? Okay. Oh, Okay, that has the air aspect in it and magic, so we can do that and combine it down to the air thingy here. Uh, air, and then just bam, now those two are connected. Hmm, how about, I'm pretty sure that that doesn't give anything, no. But maybe it's a bit, a bit more easy to connect uh, fire and water and air than it is to fire and earth and water. So yeah, let's see here. 
Uh, of course, this one has that. We could easily connect those, but what the bloody frick. Uh, yeah, let's see here. We need... Oh! Ah, okay, that one has that. Okay. Air and water. Gives us Tempest. You don't necessarily have to make a ring. Let me show you a little trick here. We know that this one has fire and Perdido in it, but we only have one of them. So let's hold down shift and right click. Let's get ourselves a couple of them. Yeah. Okay. Bam. And bam. And... Yeah, but here comes the tricky part. If we do this, then we have to do this, and then we can just do that. Okay, now it's co now it's connected this way. Now we need to connect these two, but we found out that those will give Tempest. So just put them there and just say, hey, what does Tempest have? Oh, it has one of these, and just then, bam. As you can see, it is completely jumbled up. Because, yeah. Well, just because. So we didn't, we, did, we couldn't kind of combine earth, uh, fire, and water, or air, earth, and fire. So we did it the other way around. We got a little bit of. Uh, you have gained warp. Ah, okay. The meter goes up. I can see it has just risen a little bit. So we are on the good side, people. Luckily, it didn't go down because then we were completely bonkers. <laughs> okay, what's next? Um, yeah, I think I have it up here. The Void Metal. Zombie, where are you? Would you please shut the fuck up? Yeah. Okay, we got the metal, we got that. We also got that one up there. Uh, where is it? Where is it? One more. That one. And that one. Damn. And those two are... And, and this one uh, apparently has these two in... Uh, en masse. Okay, let's see here. We got 37. Then we got 200. No, 100 and something like that. Damn! That was the wrong one. Connect it. Connect it. Now we just need to connect the metal. Earth and this one. This one and... Aha! Cool. The metal has the diamond thingy in it. Yeah. Uh, diamond thingy has the ordo. This one has that, and then you're probably asking, then how can we connect it to this one? Well, there's actually two ways we can connect it. From this one and this one. <laughs> we got it. That's, that's quite easy. Void metal. Whoa! Void metal wand caps. Holy shnut. Okay, let's see this uh, primal, what the hell? What the... What the bloody bunkers? It's an arcane workbench recite. What, uh, what madness process... What madness possessed you to create this thing? This focus seems wildly dangerous and only a lunatic would attempt to use it <laughs> anywhere. But the most... Controlled in but uh, but the most in controlled environment. Granted, the, uh, the orb of raw primal energy it creates is quite. Um, uh, I can't pronounce that. Sorry, uh, divinative, uh, diverse, uh, diversity, uh, 
but its path of travel is erratic and based uh, and best and downright beast is erratic at best and downright malicious at worst. It does beg further study, however. The orb uh, shows some interesting dimensional properties, and it exhibits energy patterns you have only seen in Wisps and Aura nodes. Okay, so we try and make this motherfucker? We need four diamonds, nether quartz, and a primer. Then we need 25 of each. Yeah, but I have, of course, um, dabbled a little bit. And we have here a thormium boast, thormium boasted silverwood scepter. No oh, hell yeah, 150 V's. And yeah, it's awesome. Um, oh shift, bam. I need to make some new of these armors here, or maybe even try to repair them. I don't know how. Okay, cool. Need a couple of diamonds and a couple of netherwood or nether quartz. One, two, three, four. Q. One, two, three, four. And then a primal charm, which means we need to make a one of these. Actually, two of each. We need two of each. Okay, we'll go over here, put all of these up in here, like so. Man, am I stupid. Oh, well, now I got more than I, uh, more than I need. I didn't mean to make two of these. I needed two of each because I needed one, one of these, and then I need two pieces of, is it iron or gold? I'm confused, is it iron or gold? I'm pretty sure it's gold for this one, right? Then this one in the middle, and... Yeah. Yellow, red, blue, green, white, and black. Yellow, red, blue, oh. Green, white, and black. Bam. Primal charm. And it starts to charge off the wand. God damn, so sweet. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Lol. Okay, I can work bench and that. Okay, is it charged? Yeah. Diamonds in the corners. Oh my god. Yeah, as you can see here it costs 17.5 where it normally would cost 25 each. So that's actually a quite a uh, bit of uh... Ooh. You've gained warp. <laughs> okay. Why I'm tossing it down is because I want to inspect the goddamn thing. Whoo! You have discovered a clue to a new research. Oh, well, that's cool. Staff Core of Primal. Oh, damn. Okay, uh, let me just go in here. How is our sanity meter? Or our sanity? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, it's gone up a bit. Oh, damn. Oh, that's the wrong, uh, wrong bench. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It is out of ink. Well, uh, not complete out of ink. But, okay, now we need to combine them all again, except now we need a... Uh, damn it. Okay. We know that the magic can combine with the air pretty... Oops, uh, pretty damn qu quick. And even combined with the, f uh, the fire also, yeah. That one. That one. Oh, 
You have run out of ink. Here's a good time for you for me to show you. Uh, take this one out. As you can see, it's not making anything because it doesn't have this. I just put it in any of the other slots here. A uh, bam. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Okay, now we need to combine magic with this one up here, but that seems to be more of a problem than just two. How about this one? Yeah. Uh, auto. Oh yeah, auto and then that one. Okay. That would maybe... Yeah. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh... No, uh stop! Yeah. Auto. Yes. Bam. Uh... Auto and then this one. Nope. Yeah, this one with air. This one also has air, so let's just plop air down there, and then these are connected. Okay, this one up here. Okay. Aha! That seems to be a pretty easy one to do. Bam, this is connected now. Now we just need to connect these two here, that should be... <laughs> Relatively easy. That one. That one. And let's just take one that we have a bunch of. Here we go. Okay. Mm, let's see here. This one has earth and auto, what we need. Aha! Uh -huh. Have an idea here. Yeah. And this one has earth. So if we were to plug down an earth there, then these two are connected. But this is water and has that symbol in it. Aha! Okay, I think I have an idea. This one here. This one here. Hold that one down and just give me a couple back. And then the brain. Then these are connected. But also, it can go the other way. Yeah. Yeah, it can. These two are not connected, but the brain has fire. There we go. You can pause it, take a good look at it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, the sanity thing goes up when uh, uh, we gain more of it. Oh my god! This core uh, pulses uh, with latent energy. It combines all the uh, features of the lesser staves core. It has the V storage capacity of Silverwood core, which is 250, I might add. Uh, and is able to replenish its V storage like. Uh, the various primal wand cores. Okay. Uh, because if we go out here, if we go back out to the wand tab right here, uh, this bone one, 
it has a storage capacity of that, but it replenishes Ordo uh, over time. This one, uh, no, not Ordo. Uh, 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 like uh, the one core, it will slowly replenishes its restorage. Uh, yeah, okay. So we need to make one of each staff core, the quartz, the icy, the obsidian, the blaze, the reef, and the bone, in order to make, in order to make this one, bone, blaze, reef, quartz, whoops, sorry, icy, and obsidian rod. Nope. We don't need to make the... Okay, we just need to make the rod, not the uh, uh, primal that goes on top of it. Cool, okay, that just made it a hell, hell of a lot easier. <laughs> Instability, very high. Okay, so it's not dangerous, and we have done dangerous before. And then we need a silver rod. Of course, it needs all of them, and a... Oh, damn. But this thing could be... Uh, yeah. Lastly, it adds one level of potency to any one focus used with it. This is truly a potent tool in any Thaumaturgist arsenal. Note, you will need to add caps to uh, the, st uh, the stave rod, just like you would a uh, for a, a wand. Yeah. Do I need to make caps for these? Or for this one? Just. I think it's just I think it's just for this one. Two primal each of these. And this one gives us this one. Primal. A staff core of primal. Damn. And then we can um Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh well. Oh shit. Okay, uh, yeah, I do believe we have done enough in here. Void metal wand caps, and then we can put, and then we can make the void metal wand caps here and put on it. Damn, that's gonna be some serious shit. Oh well, let me just show you another neat, uh, another neat thing I've uh, created. This one, the um, the focal manipulator. Oh. Meaning, uh, oh yeah, that's right. This is a one focus primal. As you can see here, I have upgraded this one quite a few times. I have upgraded first with potency, fugal. This upgrade reduces the beast cost of uh, act, uh, of activating the focus power by ten percent per level. So that's uh, twenty percent uh, uh, reduction in V cost. So yeah, and also potency. Um, but it uh, usually about twenty percent for level. Uh, let me see here. Uh, this upgrade increases the damage or strength of the focus power. It extracts the damage increased varies from uh, focus to focus, but it's usually about twenty percent per level. So that's uh, 20, 40, 60 percent potency. Oh damn, more damage. Uh, this one I haven't done anything to. Let's see what we can do with this one. Ooh, we can do Fugal. Yeah, I will need uh, eight levels. Hmm, do we have eight levels in this one? I don't know. Ah, uh, not enough. Okay, let me see here. I think. Oh shit! Damn, that was fast. <laughs> let me just. Uh, we can just connect it to this one. Cool. There we go. Okay, eleven levels. That's cool. 
yeah, why it's next to this guy is because we need uh, um, actually from a. Uh, it says from a Vs relay, but I found out that it can drag it directly from this guy. So yeah, pretty cool. And it took the eight levels from my character here. So yeah, and we can continue on with the frugal and stuff. And uh, when it gets up to another one of these, it may add something extra here, but yeah. Okay, let's see here. Oh my god, this thing is cool. But what the bloody fudge does it do? Um... I am hesitant to try it anywhere near my base, so let's uh, just uh, head out here a little bit. Wait a minute. Wait. This node has just appeared here. No, wait. Yeah, it has. I didn't have a tree up here. So this node has just appeared here. Uh, this tree is the one that I planted, and it has two aura nodes in it. I planted uh, this one, you remember I had uh, right here, uh, where we uh, combined the nodes. I had this big node that we popped down there. So that aura node there has just appeared out of nowhere. Cool. Whoop. Sorry. Holy crap! Fucking hell! <laughs> okay, <laughs> it was a good goddamn thing. I didn't use it <laughs> close to my base. God damn. Okay, yeah, it, this thing is potent as fork. Garlic? What the? That's new? That's witchery. That's new from witchery. What the? Blazes? Oh. That's cool. Hmm. But this one is even more cool. I'm going to have to... Uh, what the? Berry bush? Yeah, that, that we know. Uh, that we know. Does it fall the wand? No. <laughs> we have we have made our own meteor. Oh no. Okay, it's just like a creeper on the water. In the face! <coughs> oh, spot on! Damn! And it... And it doesn't cost all that much to use. Die? Psycho. 
If I could just uh, increase its potency. <laughs> Damn. Oh well. Okay, this thing is amazing. I'll just take it off. And my sanity level has almost gone off through the first uh, gold uh, gold band there. Damn. <laughs> okay, we got ourselves a fireball throwing or, yeah. A bomb throwing um, wand focus now. Damn. And apparently I got a lot of cows. Hiya cows. We got four left. Cool. This one is empty as fuck. <laughs> and we got a we got one out here, so that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. Um wheat. Hmm, apparently we don't have anything. Oh, let me just to toss this in here. That in there. Mm, I gotta replant those again. I'm running out of wheat. This is my hand, they're all gonna follow me. You know what? Let's do this. I need more shitties. Whoa! This little guy. <laughs> Look. Okay, good thing we. I got tons and tons of sheep. We got one horny sheep over here, damn. Okay. Can we get any more chickens? No. Oh, thank you. Nope. Okay. Thanks for the face. Two small guys over here, small fry, are doing a bang up job with the uh, uh, bean collection here, matter bean collection. Damn, nice. Oh, and by the way, um, when you plant them up, it's random what you get. You can't just go in here and say, oh yeah, I, I have, uh, I don't have so many of these uh, Sano mana beans, so I'm gonna plant a whole row of them. It ain't how it works. They are random, they spawn random. Every time he picks them off, uh, the stalk uh, right there spawns something random. This one, as you can see, it says mana bean, but it changes color. It has not ch uh, um, not done its, uh, well, it doesn't know what kind of mana bean it's gonna be yet. I think all of them ch change this color until they are completely. Here you go, this one, Victorious. It's, uh, for me, it says that it's ripe, right? But for him, he uh, <laughs> being part of Farmcraft, he knows exactly when to take them down when they give two or more. So that's the cool thing about these little guys. Okay, I think I have uh, prattled on long enough. Um, 
I am going to uh, do a little bit more research here. Um, yeah. And then we uh, tomorrow, uh, I think we're going to make that... Uh, <laughs> we're going to try and make this uh, psychopathic uh, staff of the primal here. Yeah. As you can see, every time I get close to this one, uh, my wand is uh, uh, getting recharged and this one is getting recharged. This one then recharges my wand. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, and then I think that will be it for Thorncraft for a bit. Uh, I'm thinking that I might go into, we have also done some blood magic, but we haven't done, um, ah, we haven't done uh, Botanicus. That's uh, a bit of magic with uh, flowers, and that can actually be quite, quite cool. I've got a Botania basin set up, so why we haven't done anything with that, I don't know. So yeah. We're gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna have everything uh, ready to make the staff tomorrow, and then we're gonna go and do some botanica. I think. Yeah. So thank you all so very much for watching, and as always, catch on the flip side.